Australians are being asked to wear blue today to raise awareness of the depression that can follow heart attacks. The Heart Research Centre says much of the community does not understand the emotional pangs that can follow the physical ones. The centre's Deputy Director, Dr Barbara Murphy, joins us now. Dr Murphy, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. When you look at a, a patient who's had a cardiac arrest, when is the support most needed for them and, and when does a depression tend to kick in? Well, it can differ for different people, different patients. So patients need support really right from day one. Um, and certainly when they leave hospital and go home, leave the hospital environment, they're particularly vulnerable uh, to the depression kicking in. It can kick in as late as three, four weeks later, and it can last for quite a few months. Now, a lot of people have uh, cardiac arrests. A lot of people are in trouble. How many, though, uh, from your research actually go on to have full-blown depression. I can understand patients being down after they have a cardiac arrest. That's right and you're pointing to a difference between being down which is the cardiac blues which almost all patients will go through. Up to 80% of patients will go through the cardiac blues but around one in five will go on to experience severe depression, which is a much higher rate than we see in the general community, which is where it's about one in 20. Why do you think it is so much higher, that severe depression, in cardiac patients? Well, the cardiac event um, is a, an extremely upsetting and distressing and debilitating event for many people, whether that's a heart attack, which might come unexpectedly, or whether it's cardiac surgery. Uh, we find a whole gamut of emotional, behavioural and cognitive changes that people experience that really are a great threat to their identity and their mortality. It might be the first time they're... Um, they're immortality is being threatened and they have to face their own their own mortality. Dr Murphy when did we cotton on to this? How long has this been going on? We've been researching this topic of depression following a heart event for around 10 years now and we've been publishing our research uh, from the Heart Research Centre as have others overseas and in Australia so we've known about this now for a good decade uh, but we're really in, what's important now is getting the message across to the community and to the health professionals who are working in the hospitals with patients so that everyone's much more aware of this. It's one thing to know it in the research, it's another thing to put it into practice in the people who are out there experiencing their heart events. So, so let's say you are someone who's gone into hospital for some cardiac event. Is it likely that you'll be presented with some kind of material to, to advise you that, look, you might find that you might suffer some signs and symptoms of depression and, and here's where you can go and here's who you can turn to? Well, look, we're getting much better at that and I, I, I must say in the last year or two, uh, both our work at the Heart Research Centre and at the Heart Foundation, we are getting a lot better at providing patients and health professionals with information for patients to take home uh, when they leave hospital. But in the past, no. We've got patients, people who had their cardiac event, events, say, three, four years ago, were not being told anything at all. Um, and so we're really trying to equip the health professionals the hospitals, the cardiac rehab uh, programs, the general practice clinics with this material so patients do have this information when they leave home and we hear patients over and over tell us that had they known about this, known what to expect, they would have been much better prepared. Yeah, it's certainly a matter of educating people on both sides of the frame and I guess it's a matter of also the health professionals recognising the depression when it does, do, does show itself in some of the patients. Absolutely, and it's important and difficult sometimes for health professionals to know the difference between what's the common cardiac blues, which many, many people go through and can be very distressing, and what's severe depression. And one of the key factors is that if it's the cardiac blues, which won't be as problematic for patients, it should resolve in the first couple of months. But if you're finding uh, your depressions lingering on in four, five, six months after the cardiac event, then it's likely that this is more problematic depression that needs to be really, um, we, people need assistance with that from their health professionals. All right, Dr. Barbara Murphy, Deputy Director of the Heart Research Centre. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.